What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get depths on iOS 14. No drill break required for this. And uh, a lot of people have been asking since my previous upload, the best setups video, uh, how to get this theme right here, this 3D looking amazing theme. As you can see here is another version of the theme there. Uh, like I said, this is called depths and it's pretty awesome. So the first thing you guys are gonna need to do is you need to go to gumroad.com. Uh, you will have to create an account and you can only purchase this theme. It is not a free theme by any means. And it is, I believe, $11.99 for this theme. Now, it's, uh, it's pretty expensive, but it is an amazing theme because it allows you to create your own icons with the shortcuts application. I'll show this in action here shortly. First, I wanna show you guys how to download everything you need and the basic fundamentals of this theme and how it works. So after you've purchased depths, you come to this page here and you can download the theme right there. As you can see, you can just click on download and it will start downloading. Now this is a huge theme. It is 856 megabytes. Uh, so it's pretty close to being a full gigabyte which would make it the largest theme I have ever downloaded on any of my devices. So it's a huge theme and there's a ton that comes with it. So just go ahead and click on download and depending on your internet speeds, it will probably take about you know five to 10 minutes or so to actually download. Now I've already downloaded it as you can see here. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open the zip file in and it allows me to choose an application to open it in and I'm just gonna choose files. So you want to move this zip file to iCloud Drive and then the shortcuts folder right there, as you guys can see, I actually already have it in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and now it will save that zip file into my shortcuts folder. And again, to get to the shortcuts folder, you go uh, to the, you know, the, the very beginning, iCloud Drive, swipe down, shortcuts, and then as you can see, there is depths 1.4. Now I'm actually, I'm just gonna delete the original file just to show you that it just, you just click on it and it will unzip the file. And it's a very large theme, like I mentioned. So this part will take a little bit of time. So let it unzip. Even when the folder shows up, it's still unzipping everything just because there's so much content. So just give it a minute or so to complete. Uh, but once you've unzipped it, you can delete the original zip file, just like so. And now while this is unzipping, we can actually exit back out go back into Chrome and we will need to get these shortcuts now that allow you to create icons or custom docs. So you go to the post here and this is where you're gonna find the links uh, for the shortcuts. So just uh, swipe down a little bit here and as you can see, there is uh, the creator and the docker. So first we're gonna click on download for the creator and just uh, give it a second to load here. All right, and once it's done loading, you can just literally just swipe to the bottom and add untrusted shortcut. I've already done it, so I'm just gonna click on replace. Now we can hop back to Chrome, and now we're gonna wanna download the Docker. So just click on download, same thing again here. Just let it load, go ahead and swipe to the bottom and add the untrusted uh, shortcut. Again, I'm just clicking replace because I already have them. Now when you go into your shortcuts, as you can see, you do have the two shortcuts, so you're gonna be ready to begin. Now before we start customizing icons, I'm gonna jump back into my files here, and I'm gonna go into the depths um, uh, theme here. Now there's a few folders of different things going on here. So you have your original, you have vibrant, so the difference is uh, basically in the name. The vibrant is just more vibrant than the original. Um, and you can go in here and you can see all of the icons that it comes with. Like I said, there's a ton, so this might take you a little while. You can look through all of these different icons and you can use any of these pre-made icons uh, if you want with icon board just by going through. There's also, I believe, like wallpapers. Let's back up one. So these are the icons. There's widget shapes, so you can use these with like widgie. As you can see, there's different shapes, different gradients, different colors, medium, small, large. So this is for use with like widgies. You can create your own widgets. That's kind of like what was going on with uh, this setup here. As you can see, there's the widgie and they have those cool backgrounds. That comes with the theme. That's why I was saying this theme is very in depth and it comes with a ton of stuff to really make your iOS 14 device look custom. 
uh, but we can keep backing up. There's also wallpapers. As you can see, there's color, dark mode, there's legacy wallpapers, and then light mode. I'm just going to go into, actually, it's going to light mode because it'll probably be easier to see on my camera. I have the 12 Pro Max. And as you can see, here are a bunch of different wallpapers I can use with this theme. And pretty much it puts the shadows underneath widgets and underneath icons automatically to give you that really cool 3D look like you guys are seeing right here. So that's how this person pulled off this look. Now, jumping into the actual shortcuts. So like I said, go through the files. You can find a ton of cool stuff just in the folders and the files of the theme. But when it comes to creating the icons, you can go into shortcuts. You can go to depths creator, just click on it. So first option is to select icon base. Just click on okay. And then we're gonna actually back up here and just make sure you're in your shortcuts folder again, navigate to the depths folder. And then you can see there's depths creator vibrant and depths creator original there. So depending on which style you wanna use, just go ahead and go into that file. And as you can see, it's all broken down for you. You have app glyphs, bases, insets, shapes, and symbols, and it'll walk you through this. So let's go ahead and do base, and you can choose any base you want. So this is gonna be like the, the base of the icon. It's so cool how, how the developers set this up. I think it's amazing. Let's just do dark, and it gives you a preview. Just click done, and then add an inset or shape layer before adding an app glyph question mark. Um, I'll just say, yes, add layer. So then we go back into the folders again and you can see there is the insets right there. So we can go into insets. Let's just do, I guess, a square maybe. And I guess we could do the medium one here just for an example. And as you can see now, it's showing you what it looks like with that inset on the base that you chose. And you're basically building your own icons with this shortcut. It's absolutely insane. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose a, um, let's do a symbol. You can do emoji, you have currency. So there's a bunch to choose from here. As you can see there, let me back up a little bit here. You have app glyphs. So this is where you're gonna find like glyphs for certain applications like one password, if you go through here, there's a ton. There's Apple, there's Amazon, there's Among Us, Apollo, Brawl Stars. Like it just keeps going and going. There's so much content in this theme. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy, guys. Like I said, this is something you're gonna want to sit down and toy with because there is endless possibilities for how the the icons can end up looking. So let's just do, I don't know, even know. Let's do the Halide Dark. And as you can see there, I have created a custom icon that I could use with the Halide uh, camera, click on done. And now you have some options here. You can save to the depths user icons, uh, iCloud shortcut, save to files manually, save to photos, and then save to photos, choose album. So depending on how you wanna save this, honestly, the best way is probably just to do, do it right in the files here. So save to files, depths creator would like to access iCloud drive, just click on okay. And now it will have saved that icon into a custom folder in the depths folder, the main folder here. So here we are in depths. And if we go into uh, user icons, there is the icon that I just created. So as you go through and create all of your own icons for this theme, it will store it there. And then you can just use an application like icon board to enable the theme. Like I said, guys, this is incredibly in depth. There is a ton you can do with it. Like this person has made this theme just look amazing. Um, so there's endless possibilities. It's the most in-depth theme I have ever seen. I will leave all the links you will need down in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.